How much would limb lengthening surgery cost you? Can you get a full set of titanium teeth? And just how much is Jack Han willing to pay to become the strongest to defeat his father? Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at one of my favourite anime characters of all time. That's right, Jack Hanma. Beautiful. I'll be breaking down his anatomical evolution over the series so far and we'll be calculating the financial cost of all of the body modification that he's had so far. Now, if there's another character in this series or any other that you'd like me to break down in a similar way, please leave those down in the comments below. Otherwise, if you're ready, let's begin. So to start off with, we're introduced to Dr. John, who's trying to create a superhuman using a super soldier serum. It sounds like the origin of many other comic book heroes of that era. I'm guessing he's going to be playing the mad scientist in this story. It never ends well for them. <laughs> So, much like a lot of the world's scientific discoveries, the scientist who uncovered it was often inspired by something they'd witnessed. And in this case, Dr. John has witnessed Yojira Hanma take down a bear. And considering how strong, aggressive and big a bear can really be, this would definitely be an inspiring fight to witness. So, Dr. John has found a willing candidate who may well be the best subject for his research. Enter Jack Hanma. But really, why would he have chosen him as a candidate? I mean, he looks so emaciated. Normally, when you're performing medical research and you're needing a candidate, you want to pick someone who represents the average population. And the reason they do this is so that they can apply their research findings to the whole population. But taking a look at Jack Hanma, he definitely doesn't represent an average person. <laughs> So I've actually heard the rumour that Jack Hanma trains so hard, he actually trains 25 hours in the day. But Dr. John is right, he looks completely emaciated, and this is often the consequence of having an inadequate calorie intake compared to the workout routines you're doing. Now, although a calorie deficit is really effective at losing weight, it's also a quick way to lose muscle bulk and strength. If you're aiming for a muscular physique, make sure to take in an adequate amount of protein and carbohydrate, otherwise you'll end up looking like Jack in this scene. <laughs> Gosh, okay, so we really see that Jack likes pushing himself to the limit. And the real problem with this kind of training is that although your muscles may well be able to take the strain, your tendons won't. In fact, overtraining, especially with heavy weight on a regular basis, is a good way to develop tendon injuries, whether that's sprains or complete tendon detachments. So guys, when training, make sure to rest your tendons and not go to your one rep max every time you work out. <laughs> Yes, so this is what happens when you have an inadequate diet for the amount of training you're doing. Yes, you end up looking super shredded and lean, but your strength may plateau and even diminish as your body begins to break down its own protein source in your muscles. Really, when you're training to put on mass, you want to be in a calorie excess, and you want to be taking in a minimum of 1-2 to two grams of protein per kilogram of your body weight. The rest of it can be made up of fats and carbohydrates. Yeah, so there are many other complications of malnourishment. 
whether that's a weakened immune system, poor healing, to micronutrient deficiencies that can lead to things like anemia, making you feel fatigued and tired. It can also contribute to poor mental health, leading to depression and anxiety, which make you feel awful as a person. And really, it looks like Jack Hanmer has pushed this to an extreme, which may account for his appearance as well as his personality. Fortunately, a lot of these are reversible and won't leave any long-lasting damage. However, I would recommend that if Jack Hanmer is going to do some refeeding, that he does it supervised by a doctor. Hard on a training is necessary. Okay, so this is Jack's resolve to try and defeat his father. He's really willing to put everything on the line. I guess in some sense to honour his mother. But he's really going about it the wrong way. But I truly love Jack Hanma's story and seeing his transformation throughout the rest of the Baki anime. So this is Dr. John's human improvement drug, and I think it's referred to as X4, right? And I suspect that it's some form of an anabolic steroid, which is a synthetic variation of the hormone testosterone. And for those who are unaware, anabolic steroids can promote muscular growth, enhance physical performance, and aid in the recovery process. So effectively offering superhuman gains in a short window of time. Yes, so steroids don't come without their own side effects, and believe me, the list is really long. You can end up with hormone imbalances that leads to things like gynecomastia or man boobs, through to cardiovascular problems like high blood pressure that can lead to heart disease and strokes. All the more common side effects that people are aware of, such as male pattern baldness, mood swings, aggression, otherwise known as roid rage, swelling, and sexual dysfunction. But I guess if you're doing it to defeat your father, then I understand that everything's on the table. So yes, anabolic steroids can have an immediate impact on the body. They can increase your energy levels, they can help to raise your mood, they can also make you more motivated just by the stimulatory properties of steroids generally. However, the timeline for results in increasing your athletic performance or your physical strength is far longer. You're really looking at several weeks to months before you notice a significant change. But then again, I'm not 100% sure on what's actually in Dr. John's formula. Maybe there's a little bit of that extra secret sauce. <laughs> so there you go, Jack Hammer breaks the Olympic world record for the 100 meters, running it in 9.57. Comparing that to someone like Hussein Bolt, who runs it in 9.58, he's doing really well. Ah! <laughs> Now, although anabolic steroids don't cause the same type of intense physical dependence as other drugs like opiates or alcohol, it's because of their effect on your mood and behaviour that gives them the potential to be physically addictive. For example, anabolics can induce a sense of euphoria and improve your self-confidence and self-esteem, which make them that much more appealing to continue taking. Also, with prolonged use, you can actually get withdrawal symptoms when you stop them, which fuels the cycle of dependence and addiction. <laughs> So I guess Dr. John just couldn't bear living with what he'd created in Jack Hummer. Also, maybe the guilt of supplying Jack with illegal drugs finally got to him. Did you know that in the UK, 
The maximum sentence for distribution of anabolic steroids is 14 years imprisonment and an unlimited fine. And from what we've seen from the prison life in the Baki series, I certainly wouldn't want to be going there. And some of you might be wondering, what is the cost for a course of steroids like this? Now, I wouldn't really know because it's not the type of steroids that I prescribe as a doctor. But looking online, it's been quoted at anywhere between $500 and $1,000 per steroid cycle, which is about 12 weeks worth of treatment. And considering that Jack has been on this for some time, I'm going to estimate a cost of around $4,000. <laughs> So now we're seeing Jack after a time skip and he looks completely different compared to the previous seasons. Despite him purging his body of the steroids after fighting Baki, he somehow looks even more muscular and also taller. So, how has he done this? Secret. So no, I don't think it's secret insoles that's making him look a bit taller. And the narrator asks a valid question as to whether you can even grow this tall this late into adulthood. Well, what normally determines someone's height is a combination of both genetic and environmental factors. Now, the fact that Jack is Yojiro Hanma's son will definitely have something to do with this. But the majority of people reach their peak height in their later teenage years to early 20s, as the growth plate at the end of their bones begin to fuse. It's just at this stage of the story, I don't know how old Jack is. If you know, let me know down below. <laughs> So of course, it's bone lengthening surgery that Jack Hunt has had. And this procedure involves cutting the bones and slowly separating those bony fragments apart using either an internal or external fixation device. Obviously, this process creates a gap between the bones, which is filled in by more bone as the process begins to heal. But normally, we reserve this kind of surgery for people who have limb length discrepancies where one limb's longer than the other, rather than it being used for cosmetic purposes. <laughs> Yeah, so the procedure is a complex one, requiring careful planning, expertise, and post-operative rehabilitation, which can go on for several months until the desired limb length is achieved. And unfortunately, like all operations, it can come with some fairly major complications, such as infection, nerve or blood vessel damage, or the procedure might fail completely and you might still end up with a poor cosmetic result with one limb longer than the other. So really, it should only be performed after a comprehensive consultation with a trained orthopedic surgeon. And you may be asking yourself, how much would a procedure like this cost you? Well, you could either fly to Turkey where apparently you can have it done for about $50,000 or you can have it done in the UK, where it can be between seventy-five dollars and $170,000 for both legs. For Jack, because he's had both his arms and his legs done, you could probably double that, so you're looking at around $340,000. So finally, moving on to some of the Jack Hummer that we're yet to see animated, I understand that in the manga, he goes through this limb lengthening surgery once again to achieve a final height of 7 foot 11. So the number that we just looked at, you can effectively double it again. Also, after losing all of his teeth in one of his upcoming fights, Jack goes on to solely focus on the development of his own martial arts, the way of biting. And to make his bite as strong as possible, Jack went and invested in a full set of titanium dental implants. Now, dental implants aren't usually made out of titanium, and just one of these would set you back anywhere between three to $4,000. So, a whole mouthful of teeth at 32 teeth, you'd be looking at around $130,000. And I'm guessing you could easily double that if you're wanting them made out of titanium. Okay, so just shy of a million dollars. 
Fortunately, Jack happens to know a Barky surgeon who might be able to do it on the cheap for him. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this. But if you're free just now, why not check out one of these two videos? Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.